Hi, welcome back. All right, the world of maths again, and this is about revision. And basically, these this piece of work when we say revision is meant for lower secondary as well as upper secondary. All right, now some of you sec three, sec four, sec five, you may have forgotten topics that is really important to you. Remember your maths papers are. Maths right down from primary one right up to sec four, sec five. If you're at JC, it goes right there too. So you've got to be very familiar with things. All right, let's jump to your memory and see how well you can do them. Now, given that y is directly proportional to x minus three, when x is equal to seven, y is twenty. Now I like to put this given that, okay. And when you put it given that, I should put a comma here, and this should be a small w English. <laughs> Find the relationship of y and x, and the value of x when y is equal to fifty. Now, when you're given that y is directly proportional to this, when x is seven, y is twenty. There is a relationship between x and y, and you want to find out, and that's what we call variation is all about. Okay. Now, what do you write? R. Ah, y varies directly. So you see what directly? So you put here x minus three. You now want to form an equation. So you introduce a constant that is k. Y equals to x minus three, a small k, right? So you need to find out what is this constant. When you say the word constant. Does it is it a variable number? It changes. No, it is a fixed value. No matter whatever values that x and y can take, k is a constant. You introduce it, all right, to make from a variation into an equation. Now, these vital information here will help us to find what k is when x is seven. Y is twenty, so you put it twenty. X, you are seven. Seven minus three, so we can find out that you've got four k here. Four k is twenty. Hence, your k equals to twenty divided by four. You get a five. So therefore, what is the relationship? Your y equals to what? K is five. It's a fixed value, as I've said. And this is the relationship. All right, let's test it. Hey, when x is seven, seven minus three, you get a four. Four times five, twenty. We got it anyway from that. Next, what is the value of x when y is minus fifty? What is x? All right, there is a relationship, a direct relationship. So, what do you say? Part two. All right. When y is minus fifty, you want to find out what is x. So let's look at it and say x. Where are you? Y is here. Five x minus three. This is called the rule, the equation, the relationship between x and y. All right. The relationship here is y is always. You take x, you take away three. And then five times of that, whatever value of x is. If x is twenty, twenty take away three, you get a seventeen. Seventeen times five, eighty-five. If x is a hundred, you put it in and you find what is y. But in this case, they give us y as minus fifty. So what is x? We need to find out. Simple linear equation. Bring the five over. Minus fifty times become divide. And then what do you get? Minus ten. So your x is going to be bring your minus three here. Minus ten plus three. Your x is a minus seven. Oh la la! Right. So when y is minus fifty, your x is a minus seven. Look at it. When you have minus seven, minus three is a minus ten. Minus ten times five. You get a minus fifty, so that's how you counter check. All right, let's look at part B. Now this is a direct variation. Now we move to a question which is inverse variation. 
Let's look at it. It's inversely proportional. What is the difference between direct and inverse? Direct means when x gets bigger, y gets bigger. When x gets smaller, y gets smaller. That's a direct. Inverse is the opposite way. When x gets bigger, y gets smaller. Alright, so that's an inverse relationship. Now here, why is inversely proportional to this? I deliberately made it the same. And just by putting the word inverse, you see a totally different thing. The x, I chose the same value when x is 7. Y happened to be 2. Alright, find the relationship of x and y. And the value of x when y is deliberately chosen the same value minus 50. So let's look at that. How do you do it in the first part of it? You said, hey, y is inversely proportional to x minus 3. Now you want to make it into an equation. You introduce a constant. I don't know why they always like to choose normal mathematicians in the maths world. We like K to be, all right? Okay. Sometimes we've got to think out of the box and put another thing. All right, so anyway, we put K. K is the constant. So that's how you get equation. All right, now once we've got that, we've got to find out who is K. K never changes. It's a constant here. And you look at it, X is 7. Y is 2. So you put here Y, you are 2. And X, you're 7. Let me write my 2 properly. I don't like this 2. You know numbers, when you write, you've got to write neatly and clearly. All right? Let me tell you, presentation, your answers are very important. Mm -hmm. And then your X is a 7. 7 minus 3. What's 7 minus 3? You get a 4. Bring your 4 up here. 4 times 2 is 8. So therefore, you, you divide, you bring it up times. Therefore, y is equal to k is 8. 8 over x minus 3. That's the relationship of y and x. Alright, the inverse relationship. Now, the second part of the sum, they ask you to find out the value of x. What is x when y is minus 50? So you said, oh, when y is minus 50, what is x? You've got this relationship, y equals to 8, x minus 3. Put your value down, minus 50. You need to find out what is x, x minus 3. Bring this up, you get a minus 50 times x minus 3 equal to 8. You've got a minus 50x plus 150 equal to 8. Right, my dear? Bring the 150x over. Alright, 50x over become a plus. Bring the 8 over. Alright, 150 minus the 8 is equal to 50x. That's 1, 4, 2. And all you need to do is to divide by 50. Alright, you've got how many holes? You get 2 holes, 42 over 50. Now reduce the 42 over 50, divide by 2, you get 21 over 25. Oh la la. So you can put it as 2 holes, 21 over 25. That's your x. Now just out of curiosity, how do you change 21 out of 25 to decimal? What do you do? Yep, you multiply it up and down by 4. Excellent. Alright, um, multiply by 4. So what do you get? You get 84 over 100. So 0 0.84. So x can be also expressed as, alright, x can be 2 holes and look at that, 0.84. If you want to express it in decimal, this is in, uh, shall I say, fraction. Alright, so you can see how easy variation is. And as we move along with Kuma, you will find your revision intensifying your learning. You will begin to see more and more. All right? So have no fear in direct and inverse variation. All right? You can see like here when y is minus 50, what is x? x is minus 7. Here, when y is minus 50, 
x is getting to be positive, all right? So you can see the relationship in this sum. And inverse, you go down. That's all inverse. All right, when something gets bigger, this is getting smaller. Whereas direct, there is a relationship where you get bigger, the other number also gets bigger. All right, we'll come to question two.